this is Sam and so I've been stupid busy lately you know having three jobs and getting my house remodeled and school and whatnot so I forgot to do Thanksgiving's bark box and it's Christmas it is literally Christmas Day right now when this video is about to go up in maybe 10 minutes depending on how long I talk but Ruby's got her ugly sweater on and Boudreaux has a little scarf that I got in, uh, I want to say last year's paw pack. Anyway, so I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys of both Thanksgiving and Christmas bark box. So, extra toy club. It just says extra toy club. Can't get enough of this month's theme. Good news, including an extra toy club for your collection. It didn't say what it was, so meh. Um, doop, doop, doop. Home is where your dog is. Um, lick the chef apron is this. Of course, I grabbed the thing at the very bottom of the package. This is, it's a canvas apron with rope toys attached to the top that you could, you know, pull down. Rope toy. Stretchy rope toy. And then there's a rope toy in the middle. Stretchy rope toy that you can pull back and forth. <laughs> with one, two, three, four, five, five squeakers. And let me just take the tag off that. And I'm gonna give it to Ruby to be annoying for the rest of the video. Baby girl wants it. Uh, this one's called Turkey Day Football. And just as the name suggests, it's a football with a turkey, turkey football. It's a thing that's happening. And each little drumstick has a squeaker and then, oh yeah, one of those good honky squeakers. Here you go, Woodger. You can have this. And there's also little thing of poop bags because you're probably on the run and doing stuff with your family or technically you've already done stuff with your family. Ruby, come here. That is not how this works. We're trying a whole new setup where I sit further back on the bed so that way you don't see the random junk over there. And she's, she's fucking up the, she's fucking it up. Ruby, come here. Move your doggo butt. Stay, stay, hey. Yeah, you want these nice things? You gotta stay here. This is, nope, okay. Well, apparently there's only one doggo on this video. Um, this is Nana's leftover Sammy. And it's actually not a rip apart sandwich because we had that cheeseburger a little while back that was Velcro on all of the pieces. This one is, it has like a bungee cord that holds the two pieces together. And it's made of like, soft plushiness and it's got lots of little limbs and a squeaker in the middle like in the turkey and then squeaker in the bun come here you want it lay down lay down ruby hey sit sit Lie down. I'm not even sure if she's in camera. But that's neither here nor there at this point. <laughs> this is turkey cranberry trainers. Smoked turkey and cranberry. Perfect for training. I feel like that was pretty redundant sounding. Oh no, I'm a professional. I don't need your knife. I actually, did she just 
just burp or did she just woof at me? It actually smells turkey. I don't know why I feel as though I need to sniff every treat in a bark box, but I do and I will for you guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to be informative sometimes rather than just a video of me giving my dog stuff. So this is the treat. It's a, it's soft and it came out of like an extruder, ex, extruder, extruder. Like, um, it's like three pieces that are like semi soft and you break them apart to give to your doggos. And then let's move this out of the way because there's a butcher's block bone knuckle slice. Ta da! Knuckle slice. And then here's pumpkin cheese yums. Cheesy baked goodness, healthy pumpkin and cinnamon, wheat free. Yes. You're excited for the noms, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna get so many noms. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, they're little tiny croissants. And they smell like pumpkin cinnamon. I'm not a pumpkin spice bitch. Get, don't get me wrong. But it's so cute. Like, it's so cute. And it is, I would call it like a semi-hard treat. It's firm, but it's not, it's not like, you know, like a biscuit. It's like, you can still break it and it like, it gets crumbly. It's not, you know. And then we're gonna take these out of the way and we're gonna do Christmas. That was Thanksgiving. I am thankful that they are giving me boxes. Christmas. So I got the coolest shit for Christmas. I bought myself an espresso machine because Starbucks doesn't need all my money. Because I'm basic, don't get me wrong. But I'm also like, oh, $5 a glass, I don't know about that. Ruby, hey, come over here. Ruby, do I need to get these training treats out on you? I'll do it. I'll train your cute little ass. Yep, just butt and camera. Okay, hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Turn around and lay down. That'll work. I'm gonna have to keep treats on hand is like. Okay, so I actually have no idea what the Extra Toy Club toy was because on the Extra Toy Club thing, it just says like, oh looky, you could get more crap online. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. Maybe it said it on the other one. Whoops, I lost my sandwich. It's actually called a Sammy. I love it, cause that's my name. Um, okay, so it shows possible toys that you could have got, and I got three of the six possible toys, but I'd have no idea what the extra toy club toy was. Like, literally none. Oh, wait, process of elimination is a thing that I could do. So there's this, and there's this, and there's this. I didn't get an extra toy club toy, actually. Wait, do you get three toys or four? I feel like you're supposed to get three with the extra toy club. Yeah, okay, so I did get an extra toy club toy, but it was just that they put two, they put three instead of two of whatever these possible toys were. I'm, gonna, I'm a rocket scientist, it's fine. Hey Ruby, are you just trying to show your bleached, bleached asshole to the internet? Some guys are into that, but like, turn that ass around. Guys also like looking at your pretty face. Okay, so here is a toy. It says celebrate. It's a giant hat with little, little tassels on front. And it's metallic and covered in fur on the bottom of it. And in the fur part, is a squeaker. It feels like it's supposed to be a rope toy, but it's squishy. 
which is weird. So it's like a, it's like, what would you call that thing? It's not like PVC, but it's like, it's like a water hose. Like it's hard plastic, but it's definitely like not solid. Anyway, I'm just gonna, oh yeah, I need your knife now because they put its rope on there. For a second I was like, I'm just because I'm a girl, I don't need your help. And then I was like, I reserve that statement for later. Like whenever I know if I actually do need your help or not, please stop. I'm using a very dangerous tool and you're yanking on things. I feel like a, like a, I don't know. So to put in perspective, here's the toy from here down. It's just not solid at all. And then there's like a stuffed bit at the tip. Like from like there up is stuffed and it's got a squeaker in it. And then maybe I should look for, oh, hey. Um, so this has another one of those extra toy club we're not gonna tell you what we gave you things. So I'm just assuming that it's another one of those two instead of three type things. And the last thing I got was, Be The Change was the name of that, I guess. Uh, 100% machine washable. Durable double layer fabric, squeaker for hours of fun. Uh, people using business as a force for good is what it says. It doesn't explain what the force of good is, but I'm assuming it's, I don't know, something good. <laughs> what? And forceful. Yeah, and definitely forceful. They mentioned how forceful it was. Uh, Mishka's warm winter hat and it's got a little polar bear wearing a hat. Warning, not meant to be consumed. Just in case you were gonna feed your dog this. So it's got crinkle paper is the first thing I noticed. The entire thing is lined with crinkle paper. And it is furry on the inside, and it's got a quilted outside layer and little flaps. And it's stuffed. It's stuffed right here, like just this little this little patch on either side is stuffed with squeaker. And then this piece up here, the the little tuft right here, is stuffed with a squeaker. It's too small for my doggo. There we go. And then... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's adorable! Oh god! That's gonna be hours of fun! Oh my god! <laughs> she's so cute! <laughs> I can't tell if she's pissed off or if she's just like, why is there something on my face? Cause she was like hesitant for the sweater. Cause she like, she'll wear sweaters because she's really, she's got really short fur. So whenever it snows, which it only snows like once a day or like once a day, once a year where I live. And to put in perspective, Christmas is 65 degrees here. So like, eh. but like the one, like the one day it does snow, which is generally Valentine's day for some reason, I put the little sweater on her for her first snow day and she was more pissed off that she had a sweater on than she was worried about the snow there's only two kinds of dogs in snow like they're either like nope 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 or they're like fuck yeah both of them are the second one these are chili's paws warmers not paws warmers chili's paw warmers and they are like, they're kind of like a blankety fabric. 
it's not a sweater fabric it's more like a blanket fabric honestly like it's just like a kind of fuzzy knit but not really it's kind of wooly I guess and they're stuffed and there's squeakers inside and there's rope holding them together then they're fuzzy there's two squeakers and that's about it with the with the toys and then there are treats see that's what gets their attention one because of my weird inflection on that word but two because you know food bitches love food lamb and blueberry soft and chewy wheat free lodge logs is what these are called inspired by the great outdoors we combined healthy lamb and blueberries to create a special treat just <laughs> that just might stir the adventurous spirit in your dog does it say it says lamb i'm not really sure why okay so i know that a deer or moose or whatever this is it's a deer right that's a deer right because the antlers don't they have like giant like connected ones like webbed feet except webbed antlers okay there's a deer on the front so for some reason i thought it was going to be deer meat or whatnot but it's lamb it just smells like beef jerky and they're pumped about it And then here is all natural hickory smoked pork chews, no filler, no byproduct, no preservatives. Sawmill Creek Smokehouse. There's the thing. There's the back of it. Ruby tried to steal this out of my hand earlier today. And I was like, we're going to have to do an unboxing because she's not willing to wait any longer. Ooh, bark pops, light and chunky, crunchy, not chunky, light and crunchy dog treats, white cheddar flavor, 100 treats, or approximately 100 treats, white cheddar flavor, Bixby brand, okay, well, let's open it. They love, or they think they love, white cheddar popcorn. Like, they can't stop staring at me when I eat it. So I think they love it. Stay. I'm not sure if y'all can see this. Stay. 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 Oh, nope. Whatever. I feel like getting them to lay in this position as long as I have has just been a Christmas miracle. Okie dokie doke. And it shows the possible toys you could have got at the bottom of the box. And it's the gloves and there's a coffee cup with marshmallows and a, a pair of Ugg boots or like one Ugg boot. And then the hat. Honestly, I'm really glad that I didn't get a shoe because, yeah, I feel like that's reinforcing bad behavior. Because they don't typically chew on my shoes, like ever, but she has found a pair of, like, house slippers that are furry that she just, like, she believes that they're theirs. And they've got two little puff balls on top, and she's like, yes. This is mine, this belongs to me. I'm gonna chew the puff ball. And just so you know, the paper is a bunch of doggos having a nice winter themed doggo park stuff. And the paper over here is, there are plates on one side and then doggos getting ready for Thanksgiving on the other side. There's a doggo caught in a turkey, grandma doggo, son doggo, Big doggo sitting with little doggo. Yeah. I, I 
do really appreciate the packaging, just so you guys know. It makes me happy. And then, because I knew that they were getting bark boxes, like two bark boxes, I didn't get them much for Christmas. I get them stuff all year round, so it's fine. But I let them go to the store and pick out their own toys. And this is what Ruby picked out. It's a monstrosity. It's basically just a giant Furby. Not a Furby, um, what's the name of those dolls with the hair on top? Troll dolls? Yeah, it's the head of a troll doll inside of a plastic, inside of a plastic ball. And she loves it. And then this is what baby girl picked out. It's a little doggo and it's got little squeakers. There's a few squeakers actually broken in here already. Oh, no, there it is. And it's by Hamilton and it's got like wool or sheep or something on the front of it. And then canvas, not canvas, uh, jean. Denim. Denim, there we go, thank you. Denim on the back and it's a doggo. It's a dog, it's a stick, it's marvelous. Marvelous, whatever, you know. Okay guys, if you could like and subscribe and comment and yeah, that's about it. Or, ooh, yeah, share it with your friends and family because I like it when you force people to open this video.